I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things video short. Another look at Mary, his mother, at the foot of the cross. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on the faith to the next generation. Like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app. It's available in all major platforms. And donate. Your tax-deductible gift to Higher Things keeps us filling the ears of our church's youth with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And young people today need that gospel more than ever. Advent has our eyes on the coming of the Lord and his mother. Just, just a little bit. Usually it's the fourth Sunday in Advent that we sort of ponder Mary. But I want to take a look at what we learned a little bit in the Bible study this week. Remember, we have a daily Bible study streamed at 1130 on Facebook and 1130 on myht.higherthings.org. Check it out. But let's look at that study today. John 19. Standing at the foot of the cross, standing by the cross, were his mother and his mother's sister and Mary of Clopas, that would be Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. And so Jesus, seeing his mother and the disciple Jesus loved, standing there in front of him, he said to his mother, Gunai ide ha huios su, um, woman, behold your son. And then to his mother, to, to the disciple, he said, behold your, your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his, his home, his, into his, into his, himself, into, into himself. Now, uh, generally, this is used uh, to sort of magnify Jesus's love. As on the cross, he cares about his mother. He cares about his mother more than he cares about himself. And, he, and he's worried about his mother and how she's going to be taken care of. And that's beautiful. And I don't want to take that away from you at all. But what I would ask you to ponder is weddings in the Gospel of John. Remember, the first miracle occurred at, Wain, uh, at Cana in Galilee. We had a failed marriage, or five of them, with the woman at the well in John chapter 4. And all the bridegroom language in the Gospels. Also, there's an Adam element to Jesus dying on the cross. And what I mean by that is the woman came from Adam's side, his pleuran. And later in this gospel, they're going to spear Jesus. They're going to stick him into his side, the same Greek word. And out of his side, blood and water flowed. So out of Adam's side came Eve. Out of Jesus's side comes blood and water, the marks of the church. And so there's a lot of churchy sort of language in this chapter and in this book. And I would invite you to sort of ponder this, that it is not only that Jesus cares for his mother, but also that this is a, a bridegroom preparing for his wedding. He gives his mother away before uh, he, he, he sets his mother aside. A man shall leave his father and mother and be united to his wife and the two become one flesh, Genesis 3. And at this moment where he is most our savior, he lets his mother know, look, I can't be the same for you as I was before. I need to, I need to be more. And so you can't go order me around anymore, mom. This is your son, son. This is your, your mom. And, and so that he could be the bridegroom. Adam failed in his job as husband. Jesus will not. Adam let his wife die for him. The fruit that she ate, that he was there when she ate it, killed her spiritually, and he just stood, stood there and watched. Jesus took on the curse of his bride, the church, and was faithful unto death, even death on the cross. This is Ephesians 5 language. Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church. And what did he do for her? He gave his life for her. Wives, submit to your husbands as, to, as the church submits to Christ, so wives should submit to their own husbands as to the Lord. And so this language of marriage, this theme of marriage, is present in this gospel. Think about it. And let me know what you think about it in the comments, because there's more going on. There's always more going on in the Gospel of John. Join us, 1130 Central Time, on every weekday. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.